Uh, good morning, I'm uh, the CEO and founder of Ocular Robotics. At o Ocular Robotics, we're um, commercialising a uh, high-performance sensor-pointing technology. It's a platform technology that's uh, applicable to a large range of uh, applications over, over a number of different uh, uh, market sectors. We, uh, it provides the ability to point a sensor, or which often might be a camera or a laser rangefinder, where you want it, when you want it. Uh, as an example of a single application, uh, here we have the sensor, I have the robotized slave to an inertial sensor. This sort of application will be used uh, importantly in telepresence, so to give the, uh, the telepresence operator the ability to move their field of view as if they were there on the spot, rather than waiting for a pan tilt or a gimbal to pan around and catch up with their field of view. So if they're uh, entering, a, entering in a military situation, if they're entering a building in a denied space with a robot, they have the ability to scan around the room rapidly as if they were there on the spot, rather than panning around uh, slowly and uh, giving opportunity for uh, uh, not having the most up-to-date information about the space they're looking at. Uh, the technology provides, in, in terms of uh, performance difference between uh, it and the current technology of gimbal and pan tilt type technology, it provides a, uh, an order of magnitude uh, better response times in terms of acceleration and velocity, which are the two important characteristics, uh, the prime important characteristics about the technology. Okay, just uh, in terms of the market, um, as I said earlier, that it covers uh, a number of different applications over a number of different markets, but if we look at one, one particular sector, uh, the US, uh, US Defense Forces are currently uh, operating 19,000 robots. They, uh, that split to roughly uh, 12,000 ground robots and uh, 7,000 uh, unmanned air vehicles. The, uh, in 2003, when they first, in the, in the first Gulf War, they took no robots into the war. So that gives you an idea of the sorts of uh, the growth in the, in the space we're operating in. Our traction to date, uh, we currently have, uh, we're a development partner with uh, the Rio Tinto Mind of the Future program. We currently uh, have a development contract for uh, a special purpose uh, sensor system that we're developing for Rio. Uh, we have two American partners at the moment. We, uh, at the end of the week, we fly out to, uh, to Denver to go to AUVSI 2010, which is the premier unmanned system show uh, in the world. Um, at that show, which, which we attended last year, there were just ourselves with, uh, with our technology sitting there bobbing away in a bubble. Uh, this time when we return, uh, there'll be three companies exhibiting our, our technology at the same show. Uh, one of them is our, uh, Amer one of our American partners, Intersense. Uh, they produce high-performance uh, inertial sensors, so they're a good match uh, with our technology. We find that uh, a lot of uh, partnering that we'll do will involve partnering with complementary sensor and uh, technology companies to build systems that are relevant to particular applications. The, uh, we will announce at the show with Intersense, um, uh, formally announce the the partnership and the plans to release uh, a product, a stabilised camera product onto the market in uh, the first quarter of 2011. Um, Acuity, as well as our other US partner, we'll be uh, uh, announcing them again uh, during our trip uh, to the US next week uh, as uh, the US distributor for one of our own products, the, the ario 2 which is a high performance laser scanning product. Uh, Sentient, which is the third company at the AUVSI show with which we'll be showing ocular technology, uh, is an Australian company based in Melbourne. They are currently using our technology in a current CTD with, uh, with Australian Defence Forces. Okay, the, uh, we raised an initial uh, 250k seed round last year. Uh, we're, now, we're now seeking uh, Series A funding for, uh, to complete the business development and market development of the, of the technology. Uh, we have a highly experienced team, myself with uh, 10 years uh, uh, experience in R&D. Uh, recently, uh, Dr. Steve Shedding joined us as CTO. Uh, he was, uh, until recently, was a senior academic at uh, the Australian Centre for Field Robotics and led the, uh, uh, led the uh, Centre of Expertise for Unmanned Ground Vehicles at that, uh, at that research centre. Uh, we have proven technology. It's been... Uh, it's been uh, developed into a number of embodiments already, and uh, so the, the technology is sound, and our job is to build systems around the technology uh, to uh, create useful devices for particular applications. Uh, as we spoke of earlier, we're uh, in, uh, relevant to a lot of uh, rapid, high-value, high high-growth markets. 
Uh, we have a granted US patent. We have applications also in the European Union, Japan, China, 